Hello everybody and welcome back to Serifat Collectibles. This is another episode of First Appearance of the Week. This is Wednesday, March 27th, 2024. We'll be giving you all the first appearance in your comic shops today. Then this week we have a pretty light video for you guys. I think we only have two first appearances, five honorable mentions. So there's only seven titles all to go through, but there's definitely some books in there worth picking up for your collection. So let's go ahead and get started for the first appearance of the week, beginning March 29th, 2024. First up from Marvel Comics, Edge of Spider-Verse number 2. This features the first appearance of Spooky Man. Now with the Marvel titles, we typically recommend picking up the first appearance of new characters. You know, Marvel Disney is still churning out a ton of media, whether for the small screen or big screen. And you know, you really don't know where any of these characters they're introducing in the comics. May end up, when they hit the screen, collectors race back to the comics to try to find these first appearances. And we definitely always recommend picking up the first appearance of new characters in Spider-Man titles. You know, Spider-Man, one of the most heavily collected, the most popular franchises for Marvel Comics. So anytime there's a first appearance of a new character in a Spider-Man title, once again, these are definitely worth picking up in our opinion. So go ahead and grab this one here for your collection. And lastly for Marvel Comics, The Incredible Hulk number 10. This features a possible first appearance of the Ghost Detective. Now we always say this with these possible first appearances, you do want to do a little bit more research on this, make sure this first appearance is confirmed before you choose to pick this one up for your collection. If this is not a confirmed first appearance, this is one you could probably skip on. But if this here is the true first appearance of this ghost detective, this is one you probably want to add to your collection. You know, like we just mentioned a moment ago, it's typically a good idea to pick up the first appearance for new characters and Marvel titles. And you know, the Incredible Hulk franchise, hugely popular, huge fan base, huge collector base. So if this here is the confirmed first appearance of the ghost detective in the Incredible Hulk title series, this is one you probably want to pick up. So grab this one here for your collection. And now for the honorable mentions. From Aardvark, Cerebus the Aardvark number one. This here is a facsimile reprint of Cerebus the Aardvark number one. So in our opinion, this one here is definitely one you want to pick up. We always recommend picking up the facsimile reprints of these key comics and Cerebus the Aardvark. Now this is a key comic. I don't think I have to tell you guys how popular and important this comic book is. So this here is the facsimile reprint. Once again, this is not just reprint the story and the art, but any of the original ads as well. This is like you're going back in time and picking this book off the shelf back in the 1970s. In our opinion, this one here is a great pickup. Grab this one here for your collection if you can. If you can't, put in your B-list and take a look at it later on. Next up from Image Comics, Feral number one. From the creators of Stray Dogs, three indoor cats become lost outdoors during a nightmarish rabies outbreak. Now, like we always mention with Image Comics, they've had a lot of their titles picked up an option for small screen and big screen projects in the past. And whenever one of these stories gets optioned, that's a huge price driver for these titles. Collectors do race back to the secondary market and try to find these issues. So in our opinion, it's always worth picking these up for cover price if you do want to spec on them. Like I said, this here is from the creators of Stray Dogs. Hugely popular series, and that series has already been optioned. And the fact that this here is more or less the cat version, this is one, in our opinion, definitely worth picking up the spec on. So grab it for a spec if you can. If you can't, put in your B-list, but definitely keep an eye on this one. Next up from Mad Cave, Morningstar number one. The family of a smoke jumper who died in a wildfire seeks solace by spreading the patriarch's ashes in the Montana wilderness, but instead finds something more powerful than their anguish and torment. Now this one here sounds like it can translate easily to a small screen or big screen project. And you know, Mad Cave has been getting a lot more attention on their titles recently. You know, that's why we put this one here on the list. Anytime one of these small press or any publishers gets a lot of attention from Hollywood, you know, Hollywood will start going back through the back catalog, trying to find some more stories to option. So whenever these publishers start getting a lot of attention, these are books you definitely want to keep your eye on. So this one here, like I said, sounds like it can translate easily to a small screen, big screen project. So probably worth specking on for the cover price. Grab this one here for a spec if you can. If you can't, put in your B-list, but keep an eye on this one. Next up from Image Comics, Under York number one. A young woman is pursued by a family of witches who live underneath New York and influence the inhabitants on the surface. Now, like we mentioned a moment ago, Image Comics has had a lot of their titles picked up an option in the past for small screen and big screen projects. And this one here, it sounds like it can lend itself very well to a TV show, streaming series, or feature film. So once again, another great spec bet. Grab this one here for a spec if you can. If you can't, put in your B-list and take a look at it later on. And finally from Marvel Comics, Ultimate Spider-Man number three. In this issue, Spider-Man and Green Goblin team up to Ultimate Bullseye. Now this issue has been getting a lot of attention in the comic book community. There's a lot of hype about this particular issue. And that's why we put it on the list. You know, a lot of these comics, when they start getting a lot of hype, that's a big price driver for them, and it all depends on the print runs, and all depends on the popularity, and actually the supply of the comics, as to how high the hype will actually drive the price, and once the hype is gone, that's also a determining factor in how fast or how far down the price will fall. So like I said, the fact that this year has been getting a lot of hype and a lot of attention, 
You know, it may be worth picking up for the cover price. This will be a little more speculative, but for three or four bucks, you know, if this book gets hyped up and the print run isn't enormous, you know, this is one you probably want to have in your collection. Like we always say, you know, you don't want to chase these things down years later for a lot more money. So grab this one here for your collection if you can. If you can't, though, put it in your B-list and take a look at it later on. So there you have the seven titles that we have for you guys this week. Definitely some books in there worth picking up for your collection. So please feel free to drop some comments in the comment section below. Thumbs up if you like this video. As always, please remember to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Thank you for joining us here at Certified Collectibles, and we'll see you again next time.